Welcome back to Build, Defend, Repeat, where we take a random POI every three days, turn it into a horde base, and see if we can defend it against the Blood Moon Horde. The base POI is randomly selected by picking the top mission in the traders list each time, and for this episode, we've been sent to the local Cracker Book. So, let's get over there and join the action. And the books are back. I quite liked just running around waking them all up first. Because I can't really see any. I know that oh, hang on. if I crouch, are we going to get a little bit closer before they wake up? Oh, do you know what? Fuck it. Let's just, let's just loot. I'm just going to grab what I can and then we'll have a quick look when I'm full and read them all at the same time. Plenty of bookie works. Oh, here we go. We have a mo bags. Get out of it. Whoa, shit. I thought there was somebody else. <laughs> there we go. Gosh, stamina is really an issue. Hooey. Okay, let's carry on. Let's swing over this side. Okay, we're a little bit encumbered, so I think we've got a second just to take stock of the books that we've got. And seeing as we are the fastest reader in the world, we can just plow through these. So we've got wiring, tactical warfare. What's this? Acid. Oh, we've got the acid book. Nice. Handgun crafting, armor crafting, five handymans, two vehicles, one hip fire, bow crafting, burning shaft. Seed crafting, spear crafting, club crafting, robotic crafting, vehicle off road headlight mod schematic, free forge ahead, great heist, what's this? 10% more dukes in cash registers and ATM machines, nice. Knife crafting and salvage tool crafting, alright, pretty good so far. Let's see what we can get on the other half of this. Worker. Oh, Tom Tits fucking legging it. Oh shit, I'm backed in to a corner. Where's he gone? Oh, what are they doing? Alright, let's have another little read. Okay, Pistol Pete would keep that one. Couple of Forger Heads, Knife Guy. Learn to craft AP762. Right. Nice. Continue on. I think we're nearly there. No, missed him. Fuck's sake. There's my satchel anyway. That is mission complete. That might be it. So let me uh, do what we did last time. Stick one of these BAL down here. Is there a crawler upstairs? I can hear a crawler. <laughs> Never mind. Let's open this. See if we can get that dog. Is he going to wake up? Doesn't look like it. He's dead now. And I think the loot is ours. All right. I'm pretty sure that I want to spend the Horde Knights on this series just doing something different, something a bit fun. I'm sick of the fucking tightrope. I mean, yeah, sometimes you just have to if shit's getting difficult and everything, but I don't know. This is not a series about the tightrope. In fact, I'm pretty committed. Do you know what? Fuck it. Let me say this now. I promise not to use a tightrope base throughout this entire series. <laughs> How about that? Okay, so yeah, I'm going to think about what we're going to do up here, but I think we'll definitely stay up on the roof. And um, yeah, I'm going to have to have a think about exactly what we do. Ooh, okay, look at that. New pants and a triple pocket mod. That's very handy. Let me get that on right away. 
Yeah, I'll have, I'll have a little think about this, and then obviously we'll uh, come back to it. I'll, I'll update you uh, shortly once I've decided on a general approach. All right, let's have a little read of these bookies then. So we've got club crap. Do you know what? Why? Oh, it's only worth 20 bucks. I was going to sell it. I was going to say, why am I reading these books that I never need? But it's worth 20, so fuck it. Um, yeah, let's just read all of these. And that is about it. Okay, so let's think about this. I mean, I know what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to use a tightrope. What am I going to do? Should we just <laughs> should we just hide in here and make a hatch and just fight them at the hatch? Or, I don't know, I'm going to have to think about a fun way to approach this. Hmm. <laughs> Does the taco truck count? <laughs> I, I don't know. It might not. I don't. I don't think that's technically part of this POI. That would be fun, though, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, we'll figure something out. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe something here involving this big drop down into the middle, or maybe we can bring them up through the middle with ladders. Okay, leave this with me, and then, well, obviously, by the end of the episode, we'll have an answer. Because that's when the horde is. So, yeah, I'll get my thinking hat on in the meantime. But first, that is the cracker book sorted. Let's go back and get our reward from the trader. Gratitude, uh, let's see. Oh, yes, I'll get a proper pistol this time. <laughs> Thank you, mate. I uh, don't really want to do a night only one. Let's do a quick clear one here. Shady Swine. I think that's right next to the cracker book, isn't it? Which reminds me, we should probably mark this as day nine base done. Oh, hang on, this place looks familiar. Oh shit, there's a pig. Fuck, they're nasty bastards early on in the game. Actually, I'm surprised he went down that easily. <laughs> Uh, let's go do this mission. Yeah, this this place, I knew it looked familiar. I think this is our main base from my very first series, Project Wasteland. Okay, let's go. There's a fucking pig. Shit. Okay, two dead pigs. It's tonight's dinner, I think. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to be getting a little bit loosey-goosey with the ammo now that I've got a gun that can actually kill something. Oh, we've got a doubler. There we go. These wardrobes aren't fooling anyone. Done. This is what we like. Nice, tight, enclosed spaces. Uh, none of these doors are open. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're safe on the top floor. The fuck was that? Ah, oh, kiss my ass. Fuck! Get down! Through! Fuck you now! I mean, I'm not being funny, but what the fuck is she doing up there? There's nothing there! <laughs> Helmet shot. Oh, cock it out. And then there's a door the other side that we have to open. And we can get back up outside. Is there... Yes? I didn't check if there's anything behind me. There we go. Oh, good times. All right. What are we doing here? Let's just run them. Let's 
run in, get their attention, and come outside. God, I'm so slow though. Oh, what are they doing now? Okay, it's two dead. Three. Four. Done. Return to trader. Okay, we've got a new machine gun. Very nice, a little bit of ammo. And can we stick something on something? That can go on there. All right, I think that is this place empty. So what we got, seven o'clock on the clock. Let's see if we can get back to the trader and turn this mission in and then maybe do a bit of mining before bed. Just gather some resources outside, I suppose. And then, uh, yeah, have a bit of a crafting session overnight. Okie dokie, Here is your reward. that will be very I helpful, I think, so we'll take that. I can probably make one anyway, but fuck it. Uh, we'll leave the jobs for the minute. Inventory, sell a bit of crap. Alright, we'll pick up a new, oh, I don't know, Oh, should we get a mission for the morning or should we just... Do you know what? No, fuck it. I'm going to go rogue. We're just going to have a bit of a wander through the city, get a bit of a lay of the land tomorrow, I think. See if we can raid a few random POIs, wander about the city over here, just uncover some of this map, and just see what we're working with. I mean, we're in a pretty big city because we've got two traders. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be tomorrow morning. Right now, I'm going to see if I can find some more iron, which I think my little spot's still there, where I went earlier. And, uh, yeah, I'll do some mining and crafting overnight, and then I'll catch up in the morning and we'll head out over to the old... Uh, city center and see what we can find all right it's first thing in the morning first light let's get over to the city and see what's going on i managed to build a workbench overnight and i've placed that down knocked out a few blocks to open up the space between the two rooms upstairs and what else did i do i think um yeah i just made a bunch of uh, forged iron as well so we're going to be pretty well stocked up with forged iron i'll probably make another tool maybe an axe or something with that and potentially even turn it into some iron spike traps for the horde that we've got tomorrow now but yeah let's just have a bit of a cycle around see if there's any POIs that take our fancy and uh, yeah see where we go from there okay, the reason I'm heading over here is because this looks like it might be the back of a clothing store yes yeah, super savage country or at least in my head, this is a relatively easy place to go and get some loot from quickly. So I'm, I'm thinking, should we just... I mean, I know we haven't unlocked tier three on the missions yet, but should we see if we can just go and get something from in here? The loot is right in that room in the corner, I believe. Do you know what? Just for the, <laughs> just for the fuck of it, let's drink this blackstrap coffee that I made. Run around. Yep, there we go. Run around, wake all the zombies up. And see what happens. Who do we have? Oh no. That stamina still runs out quickly, even with the black strap. Oh shit in hell, that made me fucking jump. Shit, we've got a fucking all sorts of business happening out here. What the hell? Fucking hell. 
Yep. We're all flying this way now. Okay, popping guns off in the commercial district. At least it's not as bad as downtown, I suppose. Fucking hell. Oh, he's a feral. Fuck. Alright, this is gone. Way tits up. Shit. I think I left my Molotovs on the bike. Oh my god, I'm fucking knackered. Alright, group together, get together. Okay. Are we... Oh god, I'm infected as well, look at that. Are we clear? Where? I mean, where did they all come from, from outside? Must have been a little wandering horde or something, I suppose, but... I guess they're a little bit worse in the city. Okay, he's going to pop. Let's let him go. You know what? I'm not confident that we've cleared all the zombies. Bacon and eggs, yes, and coffee. Yeah, here we go, this is where we go up. Oh, of course, there's gonna be somebody up here. Why wouldn't there be? Ooh, two skill points. Thank you very much. Oh, we're going perception. And then we can get another one in here. Oh, what's quick and perceptive? Attacks with spears attempt. Oh, look at this. Faster attacks, nice. So I know where I know where my next one, two, three, four points are going. Okay. I think we can do this. Let's see if we can do this relatively sensibly. <laughs> if that's a fucking thing. Now I know for a fact, as soon as we drop down there. All hell is going to break loose. So the question is, do I go down there, go for that button and then run out? I think I'm going to have to because there's no other way to trigger them. They're not even, they're not even here. But I'm pretty sure that's got to be the button for the door. Let's do it. Fuck it. Uh, okay. Where are the, where are the zombies? <laughs> that was nowhere near the impact I thought it was going to be. Where are they? Okay. Oh, there you go. Fucking ridiculous. Alright, you cop can get away from my loot. Thank you very much. Oh shit! Oh, I'm reloading! Ah! <laughs> Couldn't get away from the fucker. Oh my god. No, uh, that's not one more. Fuck off. All this slow bullshit. Look at why am I so slow? Can't be doing this. Oh my god, we did it. Alright, let's have a look if it was worth it. Uh, well, got a first aid kit back. I've got some bullets. Uh, yeah, let's head this way. See how much we can uncover up here and how much further the town goes. So we want to go basically north, don't we?
All right. Looks like we are out the other side of the town, so we'll start looping back around, I guess. Yeah, we've got all this industrial bollocks. Not a fan of it. Is there... This is just a shitty tier one. Probably get some easy loot, I reckon. Alrighty, let's find out. Is anything good in it? There's zombies, so let's go up here. Fuck, I've actually ripped through a lot of my 9 mil ammo. Sneaky move again. Oh no, hang on, we've got a door here, we can just... Yep. Oh shit. Oh okay, we've got two of them in. This guy, we can do a little pokey pokey. And he's dead. One piece of cloth in a fucking <laughs> medical pile. Too bad. Probably not really worth it in the long run, but there we go. Um, okay, so straight west is like the industrial area. Okay, let's continue on that loop. We'll come back down this side and then head back home. And then tomorrow we can think about what we're going to do to the horde base. Oh, hang on. Haha. <laughs> Is that Town Hall? Should we go for one cheeky little loot? Oh, it's a bit naughty, isn't it? But... I don't know. We only live once. Uh, we have, oh shit, okay. I need to make some more of these fucking things. We might end up having to run away from here, but... Gonna give this a go. Okay. The question is, when are these fuckers actually gonna spawn? And can I get a Molotov in there? Look at that. Tier four loot. What happens if I just do this? Huh, they come down on fire is what happens. Oh, I missed him. Oh, he's tough. He's a hard bastard. Oh, that one just died. That isn't it, is it? Two zombies? Oh, this is the greatest fucking stealth raid of all time, if that's it. Here we are, we're in. Look at this. Hooey! <laughs> oh, I still don't have <laughs> I still don't have a lock pick. And we are in. Okay, that's not too bad. A bit of ammo, 450 bucks worth of uh, silver. Let's get the fuck out of here, get home. Maybe we can do a bit of mining before nightfall. 
and see if we can get some coal and nitrate. I did mark a couple of spots on the map quite close to home because even though we don't have the chem station, we do have the ability to just make gunpowder in our pocket. I think it just costs double the amount of resources to make. So I think I'm going to do that. Make some gunpowder and then make some pipe bombs because all, all it needs is gunpowder, pipes and grass. All right, let me go do that. We'll probably, I mean, it's not going to be much interesting stuff going on between now and morning. So I'll see you in the morning. Okay, here we are, morning of day nine, and I'm just returning home from a little mining mission overnight. I thought I'd go and risk it and see if I could get some more gunpowder ingredients just south of home. So, yeah, we've managed to get an extra few hundred gunpowder. Actually, no, that's a lie. Uh, an extra few hundred nitrate, but I didn't get enough coal, so we're going to have about another hundred or so gunpowder in a minute. I crafted 10 iron spike traps and 19 pipe bombs while I was out, so that's pretty good. We've still got a bunch of molotovs on the bike that we can use as well. What do we have over here? Some red tea, and I also got a deer, and it reminded me that I think we unlocked bacon and eggs, didn't we? So um, let's have a look. I'm going to grab some coffee as well, and let's see here. Let's lay down some wood and blackstrap coffee. We can do two, four minutes. Okay, let's do the food first, bacon and eggs. How many can we do? Five. Okay, let's go blackstrap, done. How much more wood do we need? Probably about that. Okay, let's grab all this, take it to the trader and see if we can sell it all. Yeah, and then get over and think about what we're gonna do with our Cracker Book base. Molotovs are pretty cheap. How much is that gonna cost? 1,800. Fuck it. <laughs> Done. Anyway, let's get over to the old Cracker base and have a little think about what we're gonna do. I don't know, can we, can we build the walls of this up so that it's kind of the same height as this shit? Turn it into like a pit. Put a bunch of traps in there. We can stand on the other side. Put ladders here, going up. The zombies have to drop down into here because they won't be able to reach us otherwise. Maybe some of them will fall through the gaps. Others will come along this way and you know hit our traps and then they have to come here, come up another ladder and eventually fight us here. I, I think, do you know what? I might go for that. The only question is, what are these blocks and can we put something directly on top of them? Yes, we can. Okay, there's not even any gaps there. That's nice. All right, I don't know how much I'm going to need. I've got a fair amount of wood and I've got some cobblestone. So, <laughs> all right, I might have to do a little bit of a building montage here. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, this is the start of it, so hopefully you can see where we're going here. We'll stick some ladders up this side. Also, I'm a little bit fucked off that this is a half block on the top here, so I'm probably going to have to smash all this shit up, which is going to take a little while and put another another roof on. Um, otherwise, yeah, I think this is taking shape, so now the zombies can go up, diddly -di -di -di, jump down, Maybe they'll fall down a hole, maybe they'll just path to this middle bit and then they'll come this way and we can just stand here to atter them. If we put the ladder down to the ground here, that would definitely give them a way to get up here. One, two. So, all right, I will spend the next little while just upgrading all of this to at least cobblestone, and then we can see where we're at. Okay, we have nowhere near enough resources. I'm gonna have to go on a little resource gathering mission. There's a fucking shit bird up there. I'm gonna 
I need more wood and cobblestone. I don't think we're coming back down in the middle here again, so let's get some of these traps laid down. That'll do. Ten seemed like a lot more when I was making them. So let's get up here. Uh, okay, I need to go and chop those trees down, get some stone, and okay, I've got 48 cobblestone, uh, stone and clay. All right, let's go. This could go very, very wrong very quickly. Uh, I hope I can chuck things through there. Actually, let me see if I take off this one here, I can definitely chuck things through there, right? <laughs> Famous last words. Okay, uh, let's get this built. I've got no idea if this is going to work. Oh, look at that. We uh, have a little bit of light on the situation. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to have to cross my fingers and hope this works, really. Oh, okay, 10 o'clock. Where's my black strap? Actually, I'll save it until we see a zombie come, because I don't know... I don't know how long they're going to take to find their way up here. Seem to be coming from the west. Oh, okay, we've got our first customers. Alright. Oh, they're on the traps beautifully. Oh, one's gone down the hole. Oh, and she's dead. Nice. Alright. Oh, this is working. Alright, let me just try a black strap. Okay, here comes worker bollocks. Down he goes. <laughs> oh, it's too easy. Oh, there's some noise. Okay, where are they going? Uh, oh, bollocks. They're going underneath. What? What are they doing? Why are they coming under here? Uh, well, that's a... That's a plot twist, isn't it? Let's try the fire over there. I mean, that was supposed to be for the pit. <laughs> See if it changes anything. They haven't broken the ladder, have they? Oh no, here he comes. <laughs> Straight down the hole. Well, I've got my pipe bombs, I might as well try and use them. Well, not quite to plan. Why are they not using the ladder? Let's go over here and have a look. Even when I'm standing here, they're not trying. Okay, here they come. Okay, they're actually they're actually coming this way now. Well, they're still bashing on the wall. Why? If I go here, why do they not like the ladder? Okay, I'm going to try something. Oh, hello! Got our first customer. <laughs> I was going to say, let me try and knock this out and see if that's causing a problem. Maybe they can't even see this ladder. Okay, so we've opened up. There is technically a route now that they should be able to go up. <laughs> that might be our first loot bag. <laughs> are they just not... They're not seeing me at all, are they? Look, I mean, what is that... What is that nurse doing there? 
Really? Ooh, they're coming up. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, well, <laughs> that appears to work if I actually go in there. that ladder block there does that change anything <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why some of them are coming and some of them are not they're coming the other way are they why don't they like that ladder because they're, they're bashing their own way when there's a ladder right next to it. Oh, here's one. Two. Oh, shit. Are they going to use the ladder? Come on, you dickhead. You get your very own Molotov. <laughs> How about that? Uh, I can hear a couple downstairs still, but why are they taking so long to get up here? It's ridiculous. I mean, look, there's a fucking ladder right there. And I can hear them underneath me bashing on the walls. Well... We managed to do it, guys. We broke zombies. They haven't got a fucking clue. Oh, there's one. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> oh, that might be it. It sounds like that's it for the horde. She was the last one. Let's do a perimeter check. Do you know what? I might as well just fucking stood up on a wall the whole time. No, this is... How about... <laughs> How about in three days' time, in the next horde, we make a pact not to actually use any building blocks. All we're allowed to do is destroy stuff, but still have a path that the zombies can take to us. I'm up for something a bit different there, because, I don't know, there's no reason why this shouldn't have worked. Look. They can go. I mean, they even, they even made a hole here to get to the bloody ladder, and then they stopped using it. Up here. Look. Lovely, lovely ladder. They can reach us, and then they get here. I mean, the ones that found the ladder went where they're supposed to go, but I don't know fucking stupid game <laughs> what are we all doing do you know what I might as well just cycle home uh, where's my bike bit of a fucking ass about face horde in the end but there we go you win some you lose some either way thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time